Good morning, my friend. Hey, how you doing this morning? Well, it's a good-looking Saturday, a Sabbath. It's a spectacular Saturday. Hey, Amen. It sure is. Yeah. I wish the telephone was spectacular. But, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, man, that's, hey, that's all right. We got you. You sounded good this morning, and, man, we're ready to get into it. I know you got some good news that we can use. All right, indeed, delighted to be sharing the good news this morning. And as the Apostle Paul wrote in one place, the word of God is not bound. That's right, friend. The good news continues, it flows, and we're delighted to be bringing the report of the Lord to you every single day. The question the prophet Isaiah asked in Isaiah 53, he said, Who has believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Suggesting to us that those who believe the report of the Lord have the arm of the Lord revealed to them. And he said it this way, that Jesus was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, took the chastisement of our peace upon him, and by his stripes that we were healed. Friend, he is our solution to all things by the sentiment of this world for that purpose that you and I might have life and it more abundantly and have and enjoy life to the full. So then, friend, uh, this fullness of life, this abundant life, comes through the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus said something in St. John chapter 8, verse 32. He says, if you continue in my word, you'll know the truth and the truth will make you free. And he continued on to say that um, if the son shall make you free, then you are freed indeed. And so what he was really talking to at that point, the Jews had confronted him about uh, being whether or not they were free or not. He said, we be not in bondage. You know, we are of our father Abraham. And so Jesus began to share with them that true freedom comes through the knowledge of who he is because he said, before Abraham was, I am, signifying to them and trying to let them know that he was the very son of God, God manifest in flesh before them. You know, friend, it's so important that we don't find ourselves in the same place where Christ is presented to us, he presents himself to us, and yet we do not fully discern and appreciate the opportunity that stands before us. In essence, what happened, unfortunately, but beneficial to all the world, is that those to whom he came, the Bible says in John chapter 1, that he came to his own, his own did not receive him, but to as many as did receive him, to those he gave the power to become sons of God, to as many as believed on his name. You see, friend, this believing on him brings us into the truth. Now, this truth that he said that will make us free, quite frankly, is himself, because he said in uh, St. John chapter 14, verse 6, that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Friend, whenever you study scripture, whenever you hear scripture exegeted, or expounded upon, presented to you, um, or you present it, please know this, that the essence of scripture is the truth of Christ himself. From, from cover to cover, from Genesis to the book of the revelation of Jesus Christ, it is coming into this personal relationship with God through his son, Jesus Christ, but not only coming into a relationship, but living a sustained and relevant life that is fully supplied by what God has given to us in Christ. Yes, friend, living a life that's fully supplied by what God has done for us, what he has given to us in Christ. You know, friend, we, we're still within this series as we're talking about the handshake uh, that 
God's purpose and intent for us, as you heard it, is not just for the sweet by and by, that which is to come, the future, but it is for us today. It is for us now. Yes, you know, if we have uh, if we have hope only in this life, Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15, we of all men most miserable, but we have both hope in this life and we have eternal life or everlasting life in union with God and that which is to come. Now, what do you want me to get all out of all of this? Well, friend, please understand that in the beginning, when God created man in his image and likeness, the Bible said he formed us out of the dust of the ground and he breathed into us the breath of life, Genesis chapter 2, verses 6 and 7. Well, friend, God continually breathes and continues to breathe into us life, his whole purpose for breathing into us the truth of Christ, the truth of his word to us is that we might truly live in the life that he purposed for us. It's never just about a ritual. It's never just about a tradition, but it is about the life of God manifest fully and completely in you, in me, in us. Friend, to seal the deal, here's what we're told, that he sends his spirit into our hearts, crying out to him, Abba, Father, that literally the Spirit testifies with our spirits that we are sons of God. God so wants you to know the reality of him being your father and you being his child, that he sends his own spirit into your heart and mind to testify with our spirits, to lead us and to cause us to live the life as true manifested children of the Most High King, heirs and joint heirs together with him of our Lord Jesus Christ. Friend, may we receive today God's intentional and purpose work in, in Christ to bring us to the truth and given his spirit to us, the spirit of truth that calls us to truly live the life of sons of God, just like Jesus, heirs and joint heirs together with him of our Father God. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day, knowing this together, 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 y'all. We are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this spectacular Saturday, Pete. All right, Pastor. A great message as usual. And we look forward to hearing you again in the morning with another Christ in Action broadcast. Yes, sir. Keep on doing what you're doing. And Lord willing, we'll talk to you again tomorrow morning. You got to do it, Pastor. Have a great one. Bye-bye now. All right. Well, hey, listen, y'all. We're compressing, keeping, digging into this handshake because God's hand is extended. There are so many different truths in Scripture from His creating us in His image and likeness from the very start. And uh, the psalmist declaring in Psalms 80 that he, how mindful and intentional and purposeful He was about us that. Uh, he crowned us with glory and with honor and put us over the works of his hands. And then the continual witness of his love and his purpose and his work through all of the prophets, through the Lord Jesus Christ himself, who came and declared and revealed to us the way of God, the truth of God, the life that God intended by being our model and example and pattern. And then the Holy Spirit that he sent to lead us and guide us into all the truth, to testify with our spirits that we are sons of God. Friend, it's about the handshake of identity, identifying with God, uh, receiving from God all the things that he has already purposed and planned for you. Friend, when we really get this down and receive it in our hearts, believe it, man, it's already done. It's already given to us. 
that it's where the odds are not against you. <laughs> God has stacked the odds in your favor. Well, you say, I don't feel that way. Well, here's the thing. To many as receive him, he gives you the power and uh, to become. To as many as believe on his name. You say, how do I receive? Just believe. Believe on it. Just, just choose to believe. All right. Listen, got to go. But hey, listen, I want to I invite you to uh, come connect with us and get connected and stay connected with us at 5650 Sanderson Street, Sweet R, the Connect Center, Huntsville, Alabama, 35805, right here in the Huntsville uh, area and surrounding areas. If you're in the Tennessee Valley, every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, uh, we are gathering together. And we love to connect with you, give you a great big bear hug of love, fellowship, and worship, and sing, and praise, and pray together, and to feed on the Word of God, to get knowledge and understanding that empowers us through the handshake of His Spirit and His Word to live and be and know and do all that He created us for. So that's 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, of course. Uh, because we want to reach as many people as possible. If you're not able to join us, we're going to be live stream at 10.15 a.m. Central Standard Time every single Sunday morning. Check out also our other opportunities at Connected Church on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, like, follow, share. And every time we go live, uh, you'll get a you'll get an indication that we're there. Just like these daily devotionals, you may not be up at 7 in the morning, but they get posted and you can listen to them any time of the day or night to encourage and strengthen you. All right, got to go. But hey, remember this. God loves himself some of you. We do too. You matter to God and you matter to us. So go ahead and have a spectacular Saturday, a spectacular weekend. Be spectacular. Share some spectacular love with the people around you because you're authorized by the one who made you, the one who made the day, and he himself, the ancient of days, saw this day and decided to break the day, the day that he made together with you whom he made so you can be spectacular, those spectacular things in the day. Bye-bye for now. We'll talk again real soon.